Hey everybody, Jay Barino here, and welcome back. We're starting the next act of the true story of Arcane, Act 9. The first mission was Notorious from the second human book. In fact, the second human book had a lot of Notorious maps. Uh, Menace Below. We're like in caves with dwarves. I guess you'll see, but I had a lot of trouble with this when I played the original iteration of it. So we will see what is different. All I remember is you gotta, you gotta go. You gotta go fast. You gotta get something done early on. Uh, we ended the last act with the death of our beloved, the Destroyer. It hurts. It hurts. Okri escaped and was able to warn the rest of the Dominion, presumably. It's a rainy Saturday here, so what better time than to start the, the true story of Arcane? All right, so, Menace Below. Send me in. We're going to have a lot of reading to do at the beginning of these missions, as usual. Far from the battles on the surface, the dwarves face an entirely different threat. Their home, the Golden Tunnels, is under attack. The eternal enemy of dwarven kind has risen once more from the fiery deeps below even the deepest dwarven mines, making yet another attempt to break into the home of the dwarves. The conflict in Sari has kept the dwarves too busy to rally and deal with the new attack. Now that they are scattered and surrounded, High King Zarin Hammerfall now prepares his forces to defend the entrance to the Golden Tunnels, unwilling to let any vermin pass. Sorry, we've lost contact with Fort Talson and Fort Kargash. The damn vermin must have overrun them. Curses on all of them. That means we're all that's left between them and the Golden Tunnels, our home. We're completely surrounded, sir. We cannot hope to launch a counterattack. Then this is where we shall make our stand. By our ancestors, we'll hold this position. None of these rats shall enter the ground of our people. Aye, Horgar, that we shall. However, we cannot hope to hold this position here forever if we cannot destroy the outposts they've set up. If I'd not left to deal with the orcs, this might have never happened. There's no way you could have known that our ancient enemies would be able to abuse your absence like this. You're not to blame, High King. Your words are appreciated, Horgar. Yet as High King, I must take responsibility. The Stone Lords are doing their best to defend all other entrances. Now we must do the same. High King, emissaries from the Golden Guard have arrived. They fought their way through our enemies to this position. They want to talk to you. Golden Guard, here? They're a welcome sight. Go ahead, let them through. Hi, King Zarin Hammerfall. It's an honor to meet you. I bring thee the best regards of High Lord Inquisitor Reynald Van Durs. Word has reached me of an uprising of the kingdoms against the Golden Card. Once again, ye humans fight each other at the worst possible moment. However, even in these troubled times, I welcome an honorable warrior of the Empire in my realm. Who are you, knight? I'm Sir Praxis Braylon, commander of the Golden Guard. Also the new leader of all paladin orders on this continent. There are those still in the kingdoms that support our cause. I've heard of you. The Holy Bastion, they call you, don't they? We've heard rumors about the paladins cutting their connections with the kingdoms after the latter allied with Bloodclaw. The rumors are true, Rune Priest. The paladins have joined the Golden Guard, but we're no longer part of the Empire. The Emperor has exiled us for failing to defend the Delvin Kingdom. Yes, word of the events in the Elven Kingdom has reached me as well. However, I'd not have expected your empire to go so far. I'm not even sure anymore how many humans on this continent still fight for him. This constant infighting is not doing us any good. I agree with that. However, I'm <coughs> excuse me, not here to discuss politics. Ha! <laughs> I'd be surprised if you fought your way through our enemies for some mere chit-chat. What word do you bring from your High Lord? I'm here on behalf of the High Lord Inquisitor to seek your aid. The conflict between the Golden Guard and the Iron Fist will soon reach its climax. We believe that the demons will be able to abuse this to push further into human lands. We need your help to hold them back. You ask us to defend your lines while you kill each other? I understand your frustration, that's why I'm here. As we speak, the Golden Guard is finishing the construction of a cannon that will put an end to the demonic invasion. I would never ask you to move against Bloodclaw and his allies and involve yourselves in this conflict. All I ask is that you buy us the time we need to finish the construction, to end the invasion and save us all. My soldiers and I would be honored to join your battle against those who endanger your realm. We merely ask you to consider our appeal for the well-being of the races of Arcane.
A sound proposal, Sir Praxius. I apologize for interrupting this meeting, High King Zarin, but I highly suggest not to trust this man. He and the Golden Guard are traitors. They attempted to murder King Gardon while he was in their service. You, the snake whispering lies in Gardon's ear, Birum. I should have known it was your vile presence that was infecting the very air in this place. A traitor like you calls me snake and vile? I've never lied to my king. Can you say the same as you stabbed in the back along with the rest of the Golden Guard? I've never betrayed anyone, sorcerer. Meanwhile, you and your undead allies have slaughtered the innocent. Your black dragons have scorched the defenseless, and your shadows consume everything around them. Brian has led Gardon towards evil and darkness. You are one of those that encourage him to go even further down that path. I should strike you down where you stand and rid this land of your twisted lies. You're delusional if you really think that, but go ahead. I'd like to see you try, brute. Enough! Neither of you shall harm the other. You both came in peace, and so you shall leave in peace. Indeed, Counselor. What leads you to my halls other than interrupting negotiations? Of course, High King. King Garden has sent me here to propose an alliance between our races. Together, we shall be able to not only throw the Golden Guard traitors off our continent, but also defeat the demons. Naturally, we'd also support you here in your battle against the vermin that dares to threaten your kind. All we ask is that you join us in our fight against the traitors. All we ask, huh? Both the kingdoms and the elven kingdoms have already agreed to fight by our side. Together, we shall defend this continent against both the Empire and the demons. Tepid pause. <clears throat> the elves, you say? Yes, High King. Queen Lorene has... Usurped the throne of Queen Renova and had her predecessor slaughtered. We're aware of the incursion. We're also aware of the Iron Fist's role in this. With all due respect, you haven't heard the full story. Renova and the Golden Guard intended to betray us all. They wanted to leave Arcane to the demons. They wanted to forsake everyone. Reno Renova's own people rose up against her. High King, your own friend General Woodhunter supported. No, she did not. My sincerest apologies, High King, but... Just how dumb do you and Bloodclaw think we are, Counselor? You want me to believe that Solana supported an exile that she absolutely despised and then suddenly got overwhelmed by demon slaves? You and your king forgot that I was there when General Woodhunter confronted this pretender queen in Carol. We even spoke afterwards. She would never have supported an uprising led by this person. Your lies may have worked on others, but they won't work on me. Garden has replaced Queen Renova with a puppet queen to have the elves do as she pleases. They're little more than his slaves. He's no better than the demons. There's no doubt in my mind that Garden's Iron Fist lackeys are behind General Woodhunter's disappearance. High King, I assure you. Silence! I'll not dishonor myself by slaying you, but I will now but I will not allow you to fill my halls with more of your lies. Bloodclaw not only enslaved the elves and murdered General Woodhunter, someone who trusted him and stood by his side in lore. No, he also joined forces with the living dead and the accursed, twisted, evil black dragon scum. Did you really think this would remain unnoticed? Tepid pause. Tell your pretender king that there'll be no alliance. Tell him that he and his army of his followers that enter my realm will be met with our axes from now on. The same goes for his little puppet queen. Bloodclaw dishonored himself when he made the elves turn against the very queen that he was sworn to serve. Through his dark manipulations, he turned them into oathbreakers. Such a person can never be trusted. King Gardon. He's no king. He's a robber baron. He stole his crown, he stole his armies, and he stole his allies. All of these deeds done through vile means and dishonorable strategies. There can be no alliance with such a man without dishonoring oneself. Now be gone from my sight, wizard. Very well. My king will be most mournful when he hears of your choice. Tepid pause. Come, paladin, gather your troops. We have vermin to fight. First here in the underground, then on the surface. Of course, high king. Thank you for your trust. 
Ancient rivals find and destroy the base of the Lords of Lava. So I quick saved and we're just gonna look around first and then we'll restart. Rune Priest, powerful melee spellcaster, you can use war. I remember these from earlier missions. The the healing rune is the most important thing. It's basically uh, uh, whatever it's called uh, that troll witch doctors can do. Um, do not fear. Healing ward, that's what I'm thinking. Ooh, Templar. Okay. Those are the good ones, right? I thought. Bear Riders. Oh, and apparently the Bear Rider model has been fixed, where, like, you can actually click them now, which is great. Thank you, Char. Um, we have to, like, pick a direction and basically go. Let's check our leader leadership boni. When you've been appointed High King by the Dwarven Clan, Zarin had chosen the most trusted, most loyal, and most skillful soldiers to join his royal guard, just like his predecessors had before him. Zarin honored the best shield breakers and the best riflemen of all Dwarven Clans with the offer. Most accepted, naturally, and now serve his bodyguards. Being offered to join the Royal Guard of the High King is one of the greatest honors in, that can be bestowed upon any dwarf. Any of Zarin's guards are proud of their position and would rather die than disappoint the trust he has in them. Places riflemen with Chosen of Hammerfall and enables the training of shield breakers in the barracks. We've already read the Holy Bastion one because we played this, um, or we used that when we played Lords of the Golden Guard. I, I believe we used it then, right? Um, and just because of that... I think I'm going to take Chosen of the High King for this one. It's fitting we're playing as the Dwarven Faction. We've never used this one before. Even though the Paladin one, in my opinion, is just better. Um, but we can make these shield... Shield breakers? Yeah, shield breakers. I miss my shield bearers, you know? Drastically reduces piercing and magic attack. Okay, this just seems like a, a replacement for both bear riders and axemen just straight up better. And then our riflemen become better too. Uh, okay. Okay. Typical stuff here. We can grab fragmentation shards and a few extra mortar teams. Get this saturated. We have some nice cannon towers to start. And it doesn't seem like we're directly under attack right at the beginning. So what I'm inclined to do Here's when I restart is just grab all the units that I have available. Start making some more paladins and grab Legacy of Salomar. And then maybe make a couple extra mortar teams. And then just pick a direction like over here. Like we maybe clear out the left side of the map. Uh, if I remember correctly, the final area that's the hardest to break is directly to the right of our base, and they have a way gate, so we can do that last. No lore. <clears throat> the ancient enemy of the dwarves' ancestors, the eternal enemy, is now knocking on the very doors of the dwarves' home. They came closer to the golden tunnels than ever before, closer than any demon army. With the help of the golden guard, the high king must throw them back into the fiery deeps they spawned from. Uh, okay. So yeah, because there's such a... Well, actually, hang on. We have a new hero as well we should read about. So we have Horgar now. Lionhorn is fine. Orb of Lightning. Gem of Health. Okay. Chain Lightning is fine. Summons an immobile lightning rune to attack heroes' enemies. They're starting to attack us from the top first. I don't think that means we necessarily want to go north first, though. Um, we can make some additional units to just sit up here while we go and attack with our starting units. He has healing rune. Our town is under siege. And then this is like a really good Frost Nova, basically. It seems like. Okay. Because it does AoE around a, a single target. I feel like our cannon towers can survive this, but we can make a few additional units at the start. Okay, so let's, uh, let's hydrate. Drink a little water, and then we get started. And I guess I could go in the direction the attacks are coming from first, but I think it'd be better if we go in the direction of a base that's not active at the start. Our town is under siege. Our town is under siege. Okay, so we're going to grab the the dwarf upgrade. We're going to build paladins and get the paladin upgrades, and we are going to attack, like, as early as possible. Okay, so we skip this. We grab our heroes. We level up Zarin. Let's get Thunderclap. And I'm just going to send my heroes up in a direction. Let's grab our Chosen of the High King. We have paladins here. We should hotkey those separately. We're going to send them also. Let's hotkey our Rune Priest as well. Okay, all of you, all of you, go ahead and go. I don't know, I'm just going to, I'm just pushing up there. And then we're going to upgrade our paladins first. And then get more. I'm going to hotkey my production structures. That looks like it. Let's grab Memory of the Past. And then Horgar, give me some healing. Use your ultimate, because why not? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, work. and we need lumber, which is unsurprising to me. So just make a ton of workers. That's a rune priest. We're just going to bring him with us. So see, we've already found an enemy base. This is this is the important thing here. Let's go ahead and use Roar. Doesn't seem like we've lost very many units, if any. So just make sure that we're target firing the structures. And then we can make some shield breakers to just sort of sit up here. So obviously lumber harvesting is our main issue. So yeah, I'm just gonna target fire this. There's a base up here too that we can take. More mortar teams. Okay, this went great. Are there any upgrades that we can get? Yes, absolutely. Um, well, we need to get a worker up here to take this base as soon as possible. Here and here. Just keep pushing. I, I mean, this this group seems strong enough that we should be able to survive this. We just need to uh, keep the pressure on, basically. More lumber is required. More workers on lumber, I suppose. Okay, this is done. I am gonna. Let's find the next base. You know, I'm gonna keep going. This was effective, and as long as we can survive these attacks in our home base while we're while we wait, then we should keep this going. We're getting levels. We level up his healing ward for sure. Worker, you stay. Ooh, fire golems. You know what, Paladin? You 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 know what? You can stay here. That's fine. Go ahead and heal and grab some more shield breakers. Okay, we found the next base. Go ahead and go. Just get into it. The High Lord has sent us to support you, Sir Praxius. We're at your disposal. I saw him pop out over here. I think we just leave these up here to defend us. Getting my levels up here. These are the things I think they split like over and over and over again. Just heal these paladins up. And start sniping the structures, please. These guys are going to be able to hold on for legitimate years. I guess we can send the Angelics up to help support us in this attack. And we push through it. Move the mortar teams up and just attack the structures. One after the other. The rest of my units are going to make their way through. Keep just leveling up. Get these runes put down. Spell is not ready. It's ready. Get us our, our golden past version of Gardon, okay? That's what I want to see. Okay, they're coming from down there now. Pivot. This is why I left these units here. I need to take that base here soon. The other base. Just keep giving me the healing wards. Okay, hang on. We're going to take these paladins out of this group. Mm, I can't recognize there. I was gonna say where the rune priests are. Okay, that's fine. Just keep, just keep pushing, just keep pushing. I remember we got those reinforcements when I had played this mission originally. The only reason I feel like I'm doing well is because this is one of the hardest maps previously. So like, just knowing what happens is a massive, massive boon for us. Wait till you see me in action. a lot of stuff. Heal him. Well, we're stunned. Heal him. Yes. 
can back him up. Oh, never mind. He's dead. Okay, I, I feel like they're going to be okay. Let's keep going. I feel like we abs we just have to keep the pressure on here. Otherwise, we're just not going to be able to finish this, you know? Is this even a base? This doesn't seem like a base. We're going to go this way. We're going to go this way. Okay, don't worry about that. We're down to low upkeep. What do we want to make in low upkeep? Maybe some Chosen of Hammerfall? And some shield breakers. And we need to pivot. I might need to send some units home at this rate. Never mind, we just got our High King and the Dwarves shall answer. Where? Here? Get up here and help? Hell yeah, Chosen of Hammerfall and a bunch of shield breakers. That's what we needed. Let's keep going. If we get rid of red, that's three bases that would have been com um, destroyed. And we want to make sure that we just keep getting upgrades. Let's get Fragmentation Grenades. Okay, heroes, go ahead. Go ahead. We want a Nova here. I really like Horgar here. I think he's I think he's quite good. These units they they all split, which is great. Like you kill them once and then they split into other units. Dude, this is going really, really well at this rate. Having destroyed this many bases at the start. I don't know how many are left, but presumably we know there's one up here and there's probably one in the bottom right. But there shouldn't be any pressure coming from us from um, the, the left slash bottom anymore at this rate. So there's another gold mine here. We can come and take this base. Just like tabbing through to see our, what our health is like. More uh, siege weapon we would probably for the best just to get through these buildings faster. But honestly, this is fine. This is going well. I think leaving bark skin on, I mean, roar is good, but I think just leaving bark skin on autocast here is, is appropriate. Structure, structure, structure. And then we're just going to go straight to the next. There we go. Okay, I see purple. Well, I see one unit of purples in this direction, so. So we will pivot. No need for you guys to die. Oh, these are like behind. Okay, turn and fight. Yeah, we don't need to throw these units away if possible. Whoa, 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 whoa. You don't need to. Well, this is the direction we want to go, actually. And we have another base. Let's get our other, our, our upper left base saturated. Our town is under siege. And then let's come on down here. We're almost out of lumber in that upper area. Okay, purple. Let's quick save. This has been going really well, I think. Very, very well. Get memory of the past out. Buff everybody. Move on in, and then just have these guys start attacking structures. These guys were, yeah, because I had them on autocast. They can't put down any runes, but that's okay. Our paladins all seem great. I like these these lightning runes. I mean, the runes that Borgar has are great. The Stone Lords answer the call of the High King. It's an honor to fight alongside the most honorable of dwarven kind. We shall defend our home with our lives. Okay, cool. Here, here, here. Just keep pushing. I feel like, again, we played enough Arcane, and I remember this map in particular that, like, I, you know, I, I'm nailing it. I feel like I'm doing exactly what... Oh, here we... Were these the ones that we got? Or do we get other reinforcements? We get other reinforcements from inside the cave. Ooh, a lot of siege weaponry here. Let's get these upgrades. Feeling like I'm feeling like this stuff will be able to hold on. 
So we have the attacks from the right, but that's I think where the final area is to, to clean up. So that's a that's a challenging that's a challenging spot. And we're doing it without the, the health bars on. It's a new age of Jay Barino after all. These are just normal riflemen. Not that I want them to die, but if they do die, it's really not that big of a deal. The main thing is, every time we lose a unit, like, we're currently oversupplied. So, actually, it's, you know, we want to keep as much alive as possible at this point. Okay, that's another one down. We're pivoting up here next. There's other areas in these tunnels to explore as well, but I'm going to do that, I guess, uh, at the very end once we have it down to only one enemy attacking us. And we're going to need more... There's some trees there. We're going to need more trees. So let's go ahead and pivot these fellows all up here. Because we need more lumber. And I'm just going to continue leaving this stuff at our home base for now. Let's go and kill Orange. And then I think all that leaves is the main enemy base. See, there's you can't even get there from this direction. It's looking like we're going to have to go either... Well, I don't know about the top, but it looks like there's a path here. Kind of see it through the fog. Yeah, this is definitely it. And then there's a gap. But they can teleport over, and we can't. Okay, let's... I guess repair, and maybe we can rebuild some cannon towers in there. Not that I love the idea of spamming towers, but... Again, as we explore the rest of these tunnels and stuff, I think that'll be appropriate. The amount of reinforcements we got... I, in the original, you get one big smattering of reinforcements right at the start, and it's the, it's the Golden Guard. Whereas this one is... We've gotten, what, three sets of reinforcements? Uh, which I appreciate. Like, I don't, I'm not saying it's, like, too easy or anything. Um, I'm actually, I'm a really big fan of the changes that Char's made to this mission. Um, because the only reason that I think I'm excelling at this point is, again, because I have that previous history with this map that, you know, a lot of others wouldn't have. Lord Richard sends his regards to Praxius Richard's service. Ooh! A lot of Templar. Okay, fantastic. We're going to leave them over here because this is the only direction that, in theory, is getting attacked anymore. The light is with us. We haven't even technically found the actual or orange base, though, at this rate, right? Sir Praxis is also a much better hero than he was in the original iteration. He's, uh, he's much better here. Let's stay together. Let's stay together. Here, and here, and here, and here. And we'll deal with the ones up top there later. These Rune Priests, again, I'm burning through their mana really, really fast, so... That is how it is. Maybe these guys down here as well. Okay, see, this is why I left these units here. Do we have a Shield Bearer? No, that's a Thane. I don't even think we can make Thanes with this, uh... Yeah, we make Axemen. Thanes are a different Dwarven faction, as far as I know. Yeah, and they come in with these mutant stone throwers. Dude, my bear rider is still alive. Hell yeah. Okay, let's go up here, here. This base is possibly the biggest one. There's more down here, too. Horgar also feeling like he's a little he has a little more survivability. He was really lacking it in the original iteration too. Like basically every change made here gives the player tools to actually succeed. But let me tell you, I remember correctly, if you sit in your base and you don't push out, you will get rolled. Um, and I kind of like maps like that, but again, it doesn't feel great to lose uh, super early like that. Um, but it is a kind of a learning experience, and I kind of appreciate a map that's hard right from the start rather than playing for 45 minutes and then losing. Which, to be fair, I think looking back is what happened to me uh, in, in the in the old version. So we, we're killing it. We're absolutely demolishing this. Feels good, man. 
It's looking like we might have uh, trees that take us all the way through here to connect these areas, but uh, we shouldn't need to worry about that. I guess we'll take the upper area too, because I feel like the assault on the final area is going to be much, much, much harder. Uh, we do need, we are going to need to leave some stuff at home, and we want to make sure that we don't run out of supply as well. Uh, like, I can leave a lot of units at home to defend, but we have to find the right balance to make sure, like, leave enough at home so that we don't die and we can lean on towers to do that. But then we also need to ensure that uh, we're able to actually push through and win on the uh, defense. Or, I'm sorry, offense. Let's see if this is connected up here. The Iron Brickers have arrived. Let's route out and crush some vermin. Not there. Oh my gosh. I love how this is also showcasing the different factions of dwarves. I think that's pretty neat. We're at 163 supply. That's perfect. And now at this point, if we lose stuff, again, that's like a permanent loss because we can't reinforce beyond what we currently have. Just walking through fire here. That's cool. It looks like it is connected, but we'd have to cut through trees. Which we can, I can start doing. I'm not sure if it'd be any faster to do that or not. I'm going to start moving my army down here. Actually, no. Let's take our heroes. We can start looking around the areas that we haven't gotten through yet. And then meanwhile, let's leave units down here. I'm going to build production here. Some forward production. And then this stuff seems like it should be enough. More than enough. To survive enemy attacks. Especially if we build a... Like if we leave a rune priest here. Turn off bark skin, and then we give ourselves the the healing. Actually, we can leave both rune priests here. Now that I think about it, let's get these guys out of this little choke point area. Let me face the peril as you wish. My people. That's buildable. That's buildable. What do you need? All right, Templars in the front. Shield bearers, breakers in the front. Yes, my lead. And I don't have enough mana to do a rune thing. Okay, this is obviously more than enough to defend. We did lose a little bit of supply there. We're just going to steadily build more and more. Uh, towers. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't engage this stuff. Or unless this is an attack that's hitting us from this direction now, which is not great for me. Where did the bulk of my army go? Surely it didn't end up over here. But maybe it did. Oh, okay. That's not good. Let's just get out. Job's done. You need. Holy cow. Okay, hang on. Back up. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, they're retreating. So there's pre-placed stuff down here that, that will engage us as part of the defensive force of that base. Which we can use to our advantage. We can spam a line of towers here and just sort of force them to constantly rebuild them, and then we have to, like, push forward from there. Okay, let's uh, let's look around and see what we can find on this map now. Quick save. What do we at? About 34 minutes. This doesn't feel like I'll need to split it, but you never know. Let's see if there's anything sort of suspicious on the map that we want to look for in areas that we hadn't been. That maybe. Sorry we're late, High King. We had a bit of a detour. Now, however, we're here to serve you. Let's burn some vermin. Holy cow, the bloodstones too? Our melee units in the front, please. These guys in the back. This is arguably too much stuff, especially as we get more and more. Uh, reinforcements. Where's the bloodstones? There they are. Bloodstone elites? 
Oh yeah. Okay, these guys, they do chaos damage. They have a short range though. Okay, we have we have time to spare, so we're just gonna look around and see if we can get some items. Though does putting items on these guys now actually gonna make future missions harder? Because we will be fighting these folks, I think, the next time we see them, right? I'm coming through. So is this connected? What would you ask of me? I'm gonna run these I mean it's gonna be a long ways, but we're gonna I guess start cutting through this set of trees. Salamander Viziers! Oh, there's two Viziers. You know that they're fighting. They're warring. We'll just do this. Yeah, I'm leaning towards just moving all my lumber harvesters over here, because then we can open up, presumably, a better way to get to the... the final enemy area. Assassin's Blade. Is that an is that an orb effect? Everybody has an orb currently, right? Do not fear. The light is with us. I don't actually know if this counts. It's attacks deal four damage per and slow. I thought Assassin's Blade was an orb effect. I am here. He's got orb of What's earth. Happening? Zarin's got an orb of fire. At the very least, we can do this. Brilliant. Because the orb effect on on uh, orb of fire is not as good. You don't need to run all the way up there, because we've got defense back here that can help support this stuff. Wait, are they getting pulled through the portal to attack us? Because that's good. Okay, let him through. He's trying to build. He's trying to do some, his civic duty, okay? I'm coming through. him away. I am not afraid. Finish this. As you wish. He might get stuck might building be. that, actually, so we'll do this. It shall be and done. then there. At your call, let me face the peril. I don't have any idle workers, surprisingly. I'm on top of things. Job's okay. Um, what, where were the other areas that Brilliant. we want to look for potential stuff? This down here was suspicious. Did I ever make my way all the way down there? Maybe in that area? Job's done. That's trees. Okay, let's let's come down here first. And then let's get a bunch of workers to come down here. It's because we're going to build production structures and we're going to make a line of towers because it seems like we can lure a large defensive force from the final base all the way down here. And if we just build a bunch of cannon towers and then engage them, we'll kill them. They can rebuild it quickly, but that's the best way we'll be able to drain their units, I feel like. Alternatively, we could, if we cut through these trees, then we can attack them through this direction uh, after luring them down here, is my thought. Um, that's a lot, though, to, to deal with, to do. I don't have many... I swear I had more paladins than this. Did they die, or are they... Do I, do I have more units that are sitting somewhere... I mean, I have a lot here, admittedly, but I thought I had more paladins. Certainly, they didn't all die. But maybe they did. Okay, that's closed. I guess let me open that up. That, yeah, there's something. There's definitely something back there. And then let's take my heroes and come down here. And then where else might, where, might there be stuff that we're missing? That's the that's the final direction I need to go. We open that up. This was connected by mushrooms. I guess it couldn't hurt to just fully open this up just for the ability to traverse. Okay, there's nothing down here, unfortunately. Well, let's bring our heroes up here. There, there's obviously something back here. I think that's everything. Hopefully I didn't miss anything super obvious, but that seems like everything. And then maybe what I'll do is I'll make a cut while I just build up my little infrastructure at the bottom. 
That way, I don't feel the need to... Yeah, there's, there's stuff back there. Uh, to have this video go on for like an hour and a half, um, when I think we've made excellent progress and there's no need to, you know. So, but we want to make shield breakers. They seem really good. It shall be done. Shouldn't need that much siege weaponry. This might be too close. Anyway, I'll be back. It, you know, obviously all I'm doing is setting this up. There's really no pressure on my base except what comes through here. And we have a huge army, so you don't even have to see this fight because you know we're going to win. Wait, there's dialogue? Spiders. Here? They must have snuck past the Stone Lords. I shall not tolerate a nest of these creatures so close to the Golden Tunnels. To arms, soldiers, these vile monsters stand no chance against the might of dwarven kind. This is actually really sad because these are like, these are uh, living Nerubians. And uh, presumably they're just trying to get away from being enslaved by... Um, who does it? The Ajara Nexus, right? So that kind of sucks. <laughs> that kind of sucks for them. They're just trying to get away. Anyway, uh, once again, I'll be back. Okay, so they're attacking me here right now. So I think this is my chance. I want to make some movement down here. I built like a pulse, you know, a huge group of towers here. And again, presumably attacking through here is going to lure that big old group, that big old defensive force that exists up there down here. And then we lure them back into our towers, we kill them, and then we make a move into that final zone. And I'm at 150 supply. This is my best chance, I feel like, to make something happen, if only because I'm able to leave so much on defense back here. Okay, never mind. That huge group did not come down here, <laughs> because of course they didn't. So we quick save. Are we through these yet? Not quite. Once we break all these trees, it's going to lure everything out to us. I'm almost certain of it, you know? What would you ask of me? It shall be done. I can't build that. Orders? On my way. Okay, well, let's keep moving shall not falter. up. Let me face them. Do not fear. The light. And we can That's rebuild the pretty machine. fast. I think I have too, way too much here, actually. So we're going to yes, bring some Aye. of these guys all the way down as well. Aye. Aye. Move it. This is a long way to go. So, like, as we reinforce, it's going to take some time. The question is, can we reinforce faster than the enemy can? We're going to find yes, out. So here's where, like, I could see if they'll come all the way through. For the light. Because I set up all these towers, and it's kind of like, well, why not, you know? No, okay, they're not. I, I don't want to fight inside this tiny little choke point, so we have to we have to do some... We have to do a little kiting. Do a little wacky juggling, you know? You, you were among those who wanted to kill me. I will burn you and your nation to the ground. Oh, no. Again, we're in like a tiny, tiny choke point here. This is very bad. You. That means you're the god the kobolds refer to. I will destroy you and end this threat once and for all. Dwarves charge. Well, goodbye, Zarin. I mean, they can't hit very much, but neither can I. Oh, I wish this was open the full way. At your call. My people, I am not afraid. At your call. Because this is much a much shorter path. I, I hate this. I don't know. I don't even know what to do about this. Right. Just back out. Get Zarin back out. I thought I hotkeyed those. Our forces are under attack. This is just a deeply unfortunate way that you have to engage this stuff. This is really, really rough. Again, if they're going to come all the way out, there's no reason to not lure them all the way to the towers. No, they're gonna. He's gonna turn around. They don't know what they're doing. They're, they're I mean, they're equally stuck. Uh, to be fair. I'm coming through. Move Wait till you see me in action. This is a shorter path. 
have, then versus having to do this. So I think maybe this is how we want to do it. Yeah, come on. Understand that no matter what we kill here, they're just going to keep rebuilding it over and over and over and over again. So it's hard to... If we can if we can get him to come all the way to these towers and I can kill this large bulk of units, then I'm happy. Do not fear. Wait till you see me in action. Yes, perfect. Okay. So we at least have some serious support. I mean that's fine if that's what you want to do, dog, but where, where are you going? Where are they going? Where did, where did, where did Progderis go? We, we gotta, if we can kill Progderis with the towers, then this is fine. We do a little mass repairing. We give ourselves some armor. We hit a big resurrect here. That looked like that got us some decent numbers of units back. They're constantly spilling through this little area. Let's get these guys down here. He can't get to it. Okay, that's fine. You guys can stay. We can pull him, pull him into the towers a little bit. There's no reason we, we don't pull him into the towers, right? He seems determined to not want to get pulled into the towers. Honestly, Progderis himself is the only major issue here. So if we can, once we kill him, even if he comes back, and I don't know if he will, but we make a move pretty much immediately. We have the ability to rebuild a ton of stuff here. Okay, these are getting pulled into our towers. I'm just trying to use all my stuff. Okay, Progderis is gone. So we quick save and maybe try and make a move here. I'm even going to bring... Now I have to bring all these guys, I think. We're still not all the way through. Okay, it's an endless push. Endless push down this little walkway area. If we can get our siege weaponry in range, then we'll be able to do it. I think. Go, 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 go. Have you reached the verdict? And then eventually, if we break through all these trees, we'll have another pathway to get into that base, but... Let me face the battle. Still not quite yet. And these fire golems. Okay. We're trying hard. We're trying hard to get through it. I don't even know what to what to do here. This is insane. I mean, we got a healing ward down. Best we can do is try and move forward and hit what we can. We're through this. We're through it, actually. The problem... Well, you know what? Oh, no. He does come back, by the way. Okay, in an insane turn of events, we're going to come all the way... We're going to bring the steam tanks all the way up and around and see if maybe... What would you ask of me? What are you? Ancient Fire Golem. That's exciting. The fact that he comes back like this is not fun. Not, not fun. Okay, but I see what we can do here. I don't love having to do this, but what we're going to do is we build a bunch of workshops up here, and then we keep fighting through this little tunnel. We keep him distracted.
And then we snipe the production structures um, from the other side. As long as, like, at each, each production structure we destroy is going to be a huge, huge boon for us. I don't think we have the firepower to actually kill him like this, though. So now that I know what to do, let's pull back. He's just going to pick us off. He's got way too much health. I don't remember how I did this the first time. I think what I did was I... Um, he, he got, like, drawn through the portal over here and into a bunch of static defense, I think is probably what ended up happening. So this is just feels like it's going to be a bit insufferable. I'm, I hate having to, like, draw a defensive force to one side in order to kill buildings. It just feels bad, honestly. But here we are, so we will do it, and... Job done. Job done. Eventually... Okay, they're all still down here, so let's get down here and attack that and that. We make mortar teams, and we just chip away at it over and over and over. Did he leave? I feel like he left. Okay, well, we got a building. I'll suicide. I mean, I'll just keep suiciding units as we just chip away at these. Good work, buddy. Two more shots. I don't think he's going to get it. One more shot. No, we got it. Okay, great. We, we back up. We do a little backing up. Oh, he's still alive. Yeah, you know what? Destroy those buildings for me. They're in the way. We gotta wait for that to be destroyed before we jump in there. Okay, and then let's go Shield Breakers and Chosen of Hammerfall, because that's kind of our jam. Heroes are back. We shall not falter. You have a target? Hmm? We heal here. Where do you want us? Mobile. We'll okay, so we're in position and we just we gotta right. just try to Come distract on. him down this tiny Let little area die, again. For as long as possible. Right. And we just keep just make just keep making stuff. to stay maxed out. So there's the defensive force. And what's his name? Oh, is he starting to attack us? I, I don't have any units left up there anymore. Okay, get in there. Boom, boom. <laughs> Actually insane. Don't speak to me about ancient lava lords. Who cares? And I don't love this. <laughs> but I feel like this is going to take forever. Like, actually forever. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Our town is under siege. We built, we destroyed two, we destroyed two production structures, right? So like, there's one more there and maybe a few more over there. If we keep this fight going, maybe, just maybe we can, you know, get through it. I'm, I feel like I'm constantly silenced, like forever. I can, I can never have enough stuff. Okay, Horgar's dead. Please let me build Horgar. Who 
cares? We've got we have uh, other bases. This is my new base now. It's just one of those things like now there's just no, you know, it's it's not happening. Did I not build mortar teams from this or did I build them from this I built them from back here. Oh man, I'm a stupid idiot. Stop. Okay, we'll just do it again. They can't build as fast, so let me just make a cut. We'll make our way back again. You know, this again and again and again and again. Okay, we make another run at it because we've got a pretty beefy group of units here. So we take this group and we just attack and hope for the best. I'll get, you know, we can roar when we go in there. I, again, I don't think they're able to rebuild this stuff that fast, so I think this is big. Okay, another one down. We're just looking for more production structures. Let, oh, I was going to say, let's at least avatar him before it's too late, but it's too late. Oh, it's... Oh, hello. Did we get through? No, I was going to say, we didn't. It's not like we got through. I don't know why he's all the way up there. Cool. Okay, that counted. We didn't actually have to, We just had to destroy all the buildings. Hey, hey! I'll take it. Ugh. We've won. The golden tunnels are safe, and the vile vermin are running for their lives. What a glorious day. You fought well, Paladin. It's been an honor fighting by your side with such a distinguished warrior such as yourself. I understand why the Paladins of the Kingdoms have chosen to follow you. You're too kind, High King. You've upheld your end of the bargain. Now it's our turn. With our enemies gone, I can contact our other forces again. I shall summon the defenders of the Stone Lords and the warriors of the Iron Breakers, as well as the other rune priests of the Lore Keepers. Our warriors shall hold the line against the demonic onslaught and buy you the time you need to finish matters with Bloodclaw. Yes, Bloodclaw. Many amongst our kind despise Bloodclaw for his misdeeds. Even if it hadn't, if he hadn't dared send his messenger Biram into our doorstep, his vile actions can no longer be ignored. Aye. Which is why I'll gather the additional forces and accompany you, Sir Praxius. We dwarves wish to join the side, your side in this conflict. We've always had better relationships with the Empire than the kingdoms who have now allied themselves to Bloodclaw. And unlike them, your Golden Guard has proven to remember what the word honor means. I'm honored, and I'm sure the High Lord will feel the same, High King. However, do you really want to involve yourselves in this conflict between the Kingdom and Golden Guard? Well, don't second guess what you came and asked for, dog. <laughs> what are you doing? My army shall march against the Pretender Bloodclaw and his armies when he attacks you. The misdeeds of the Iron Fish shall be repaid in blood. So speaks the High King of the Dwarves. I guess we just asked them to hold off the demons, but instead now he's willing to actually get directly involved. Tepid pause. Something troubles you, doesn't it? It's nothing, Rune Priest. I appreciate your concern. You know, Paladin, many of my kind wonder how you humans can constantly bicker and fight amongst yourselves. A dwarf couldn't imagine turning against their own kin for power or anything that petty. Or how one could make a deal with dark beings to gain power. Tepid pause. What we forget, however, is that we turned on the Bloodstones once. For a long time, we treated them as outcasts. In a way, we too turned against our own kind when we did that. Our people are not that different sometimes, it would seem. But they're no longer outcasts, are they? Aye, though they're still different from the other clans. It will take some time to mend all wounds. However, they never really left us. They chose to come back. 
they took the initiative. I can only assume that you mourn the loss of good friend Surpraxius. Of a good friend, Surpraxius. Perhaps he will come back to you. If he doesn't, however, you mustn't let doubt fester and weaken you. You're a good lad. That shouldn't die young. The good shouldn't die young. I appreciate your kind words, Rune Priest. I'll gather my men and meet you and your High King as soon as I've sent word to the High Lord. Over an hour. Whee! Uh, loving the changes made to this map. Last base, unnecessary. Tiny choke point. Really feels like the only way, even I would dare say the intended way, is to lure them one direction and then use... You have to cut through a ton of trees, but then you have to, um, you know, snipe production structures. I don't love it. It just felt unnecessarily time-consuming and honestly not very fun. I really like the first 75% of the map, though. Great changes, really fun with the reinforcements you get. A lot of pressure gets put on you early from multiple directions. I just knew that I needed to get out there and push through um, some of the bases as early as possible, and by doing so, it actually made it feel a lot easier than this map actually is. So in reality, this probably would have been like a flat-out 90-minute mission had I not done that. So, uh, you know... It is what it is, though. I, I don't know that last base, just the way that the enemy defensive force gets pulled into that really long choke point area, and it, there's just a few things about it that just feel very unnecessary. I'm not a not a fan. Uh, yeah. Okay. Thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.